today's video is going to be a Q&A. But before we begin, Addy and I recently celebrated our one year anniversary. So this Q&A will be randomly interrupted. Happy anniversary, beautiful. <clears throat> randomly interrupted by clips from that day. Question number one. Today's Addy and I's one year anniversary and oh my goodness has the time flown by. I can't believe it. This has been one of the best years of my life. I am so thankful to have somebody like Addy by my side. And I want to show a tiny slice of that appreciation this morning by getting her things I know she loves. Has your age gap affected your relationship? No, it hasn't affected our relationship, but I couldn't help but at first feel a little weird about it. I always told myself I wouldn't date anyone two years younger than me because that's my little sister's age, Amy. And so I, I've always had that boundary. But then I met her and I can't say any of these things without sounding like a creep and I hate myself for it. That's okay, I'll say it for you. <laughs> yes. I'm the young one. I feel like people think it's weird and it makes sense. Like, I think if I was last year's age, I would probably never date a 20 year old. But I think what makes the scenario different too is I'm very mature for my age. Mm -hmm. And Oscar's a little immature for his age, so we meet in the middle. <laughs> very it true. Works. Yeah, and, and a lot of people have told her that, and a lot of people have told yes. me that separately, so it's pretty true. But yeah, I mean, I can't say she's mature for her age, and <laughs> I sound like a freaking yeah. weirdo. No, I, I, yeah, I think, <laughs> I don't know why, yeah. I, I love you. But I did struggle with that for well, a little bit. Think about it. What 19 year old goes into real estate, has a kid, has a career, has an apartment? Yeah, no, I know. Does their life together make No, sense? I know. It makes sense to me, but on paper, I sound like a creep. <laughs> yeah, but paper's not reality. True, very yeah. true, very true. Those are beautiful. Thank you so much. I'm now stopping by the candy store to get her her favorite sweet treats that are really hard to find anywhere else. Do you guys sell Abba Zabba's here? The Abba Zabba's are like taffy with peanut butter in the middle. No? Oh, cute. Welcome. Question number two. Alright, well, the candy store didn't have them, which is weird. But if I remember correctly, this furniture store does? Do you guys want to do any real estate rentals together or Airbnbs? Yes, we do actually. That's the plan with this home. We do want to keep it in our family forever, but we want to rent it out after we've lived here for two years. We're out. Oh, we're out. We're out. That's okay. Thank yep. you so much. Yeah. They're normally here. They're okay. normally, well. We're also planning on, in two years when we move out, to get another rental property, hopefully. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll buy another place, live in it, and then rent it out, hopefully by that third one, we will have our forever home. Oh, here they are. Oh my good, you are a life server. I'll right take there. two bags. Thank you so much. Yes, they got the goodies. Wow. Up next, stopping by Target. And if you've got a Target loving gal, you can't go wrong here. Pretty much anything you buy here is gonna be a hit for her. <laughs> here to buy a cute vase for her flowers that I know she's gonna love. She's been asking for one of these. And a gift box to place all these gifts in. I know she'll like the basic tan colored one instead of one of these nicer, fancier ones that say love because she's into this color. So I know she'll love it. But that's not all. I've got one last surprise for her at home. Question number three. What's your favorite thing about your relationship? Are you ready to see what I got you? Yeah, but I have to grab mine. Okay, grab it. Or do I give it to you after? You can give it to me after. Okay, okay. I don't know the verbiage, but like it just seems and it feels so easy to be with you. Like it's not... I don't know. It just felt. Yeah. It just feels right. That it feels. It. Yeah. I don't know. It just feels right. Like I meant guess. to be. Yes. It's exactly. meant to be. Meant That's to actually be. one of my favorite things as well. And I would call it understanding. I feel like we understand and respect each other, this. and it makes this relationship so smooth. Like we know what's gonna piss each other off, and so we avoid those things. We know what each other loves, so we do those things. Like it's just. Mutual respect and understanding. I think that is the biggest thing. I think you're right. We respect each other a lot. Very mm -hmm. a lot. Oh, you want me a cute little thing? <laughs> yeah. For the flower? Yeah. This is adorable. I know you've been asking for one. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. 
You did it. I did. You did. I did. You did. Is this what I think it is? A hundred percent. Question number four. Best relationship advice for someone that wants a serious relationship. So this is something that I didn't realize I was doing myself, but when Addie put words to it, I, it made complete sense. You have to become who you want to date. You have to like be the person. If you want somebody who works hard, then you have to be a hard worker. Doesn't mean you have to work like get a hard working job, but you got to be a hard worker at home. You got to do something hard working to attract that. If you want to be rich, you probably have to get rich yourself to get in that group of people and attract those group of people. Yep. And yeah, if you want to care about looks, you got to make sure you're presentable as well. That's literally what I was going to say. Yeah. My biggest advice to people that want a serious relationship and want a specific type of pe person is to write it down, reflect, and see if everything you wrote down, you already have in your in internal. In yeah, if yourself. you're already that you're person. Already, you're already that person on that paper. And if you're not, then work on those things or cross them off your list. Yeah, very <laughs> true. Very true. It's cool, huh? Babe! Babe! You got me two? Three? Oh my god, I'm putting these on. Oh! Question number five. Baby's question mark? Will you be reversing your vasectomy? Okay, you can open. You made this? Yeah, I made mean, all of it. Babe! Look at that! I'm gonna cry. I'm so emotional today. Why am I crying? It's not even my friend. <laughs> no, I definitely will not be. And it's funny because Addie and I have actually had this conversation, but I am more than content with the kids I have right now. I want to show them as much attention as I can possibly give just them. You know, and even now, I don't feel like it's enough, but yeah, I will definitely not be reversing that. Yeah. I think the conversations we had too is because I have had conversations with Oscar being like, oh, what if we regret it? Like, what if we're yeah. old? And we're like, oh my gosh, like we should have just had one more together. But then, like, I think what takes over that feeling is like, feeling like, oh, at the same time, I'm sure though when we get older, we'll just be fulfilled with the family oh, yeah. we have. Mm -hmm. Addie's gift to me is this beautiful scrapbook that she spent a ton of time making. It's like this little history book of our entire relationship, beginning with our first text. It includes all the trips we've been on and some key moments in our relationship. I've never had anybody spend so much time on a gift for me, making it my absolute favorite. Thank you, babe. Thank you. Sorry. I love it. I cried the whole time writing it, too, and I was like, okay, it should be good now when he reads it. But no, I'm reading it with you, and I'm like, oh my god. Babe, hey, this is a good you. gift. Holy crap. Well, of course, we had to do something special, so we decided to get massages and facials. I'm excited, actually. I really enjoyed the last one, so. Yeah, I'm and I'm so gonna excited. relax a lot right now, but we gotta be quiet. There's people trying to get massages. Anyways, we will see you guys when we're done. It's exciting. Me too. Question number six. Have you guys thought about marriage? Yes, yes I have actually, a lot. This might be too much information that I should be telling her, but for the first time in my life, I'm ready for marriage. For oh, the I've first time in my life ever. I've known this. I know. Well, wait, wait. I, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know if I've told you that or not, and so, yeah, I'm ready. Oh wait, you mean like you're ready? Like you're ready to mm -hmm. pop the The question. only reason why I haven't is because I already have made her wait so long and I want to make sure it's special that I feel like doing it in the living room right here right now would be too, too little, too little, too little, I wouldn't say too late, but just too little. Like it's not enough. And so, yeah. Snoring up in that. <laughs> How was your facial? It was good. I'm exhausted. I fell asleep the whole thing. I think we'll get engaged hopefully in the next year, but probably not married. I think that yeah. won't be like... Not before. Yeah, I could see that being a while out. Yeah. Bam. I want to... Yeah. I agree. <laughs> but engaged in the next year. That's the goal. That's the goal. Hi, beautiful. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. I love you.
done a Q&A in a while. Thought it'd be fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it. But that's pretty much it for this video. Catch you in the next one. <laughs>